What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about how to set up Go High Level calendars. If you sign up for Go High Level using our affiliate link below, you'll unlock an exclusive extended 30 day free trial that's double the usual 14 days. Plus, we're throwing in over $2,000 worth of bonuses, including this landing page template. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so first thing that you need to know when it comes to setting up your calendars for Go High Level is that normally some of the sub account templates that you will see here or the snapshots that you're going to see here already have their pre built calendars, but some don't have their pre built calendar, especially if you start from scratch. And some calendars you still have to set them up. So you use the calendars to book your services. Um, schedule online courses or live uh, webinars and stuff like those. So I'm going to show you how it looks like if we haven't set up a calendar yet. So let's go to a sub account that we have and then click calendars. So here's how it looks like if we don't have a calendar yet. All right. So let's go ahead and go to calendar settings and we can start creating a calendar. All right, so before we create a calendar, let's try to understand the different types of calendars first. So let's start with the personal calendar. So this calendar is perfect for one on one appointments. So clients can book uh, directly with a specific person. And this is ideal for coaches, consultants, and all sorts of those um, job types in the business. Next is for uh, class booking. Uh, of course, this is applicable for uh, workshops, webinars uh fitness classes and you know stuff like those um you can just set your max capacity for uh, a class booking and you're good to go uh next is the uh, round robin so this is kind of like the personal calendar but if you have multiple staff um let's say it's for a sales team or customer support this uh, calendar booking rotates the available members in the team and uh, for collective booking, so let's say you need more people from your team on the uh, same uh, call. So this is the best um, uh, booking for uh, for you. Okay, so the client picks a time that works for everyone. And then um, we can ensure that everyone or uh, the required team members are available. So yeah, so this is perfect for high level um, meetings or strategy calls. Next is the the uh, events booking. So of course, this is for um, events like um, in-person seminar, uh, online webinar, and uh, attendees can just you know sign up seamlessly. And last but not the least is the service booking. So this uh, lets clients uh, choose from multiple service options um, that you offer. This is absolutely best for salons, spas, uh, business like uh, plumbing, uh, pet grooming, and all sorts of those good stuff. Next, let's talk about all the tabs here above. So you have preferences. So this is just customizing your user preferences. Let's say, um, of course, if uh, it's a physical physical booking. You have to use custom. Um, but if it's a virtual booking, you can use all the platforms here. You can um, choose phone address. Or if it's a home visit, of course, you just click uh, full address. Uh, account preferences. So it depends if you want your calendar to show that the week starts on a Saturday or Sunday. So let's maybe choose a, a Sunday. Um, if you want to. Um, display the service menu rooms equipments you may do so uh, but i personally keep these um, toggled so language time format uh, week starts uh, on sunday so of course uh, click save next is the availability so your entire calendar uh, booking schedules will be based here so let's say your business hours are just from monday to friday so of course you should have these checked. Let's say if you want your Monday to just uh, uh, be until uh, 5 p.m., so you may do so. Uh, your clients can only book until 5 p.m. So let's say your office hours um, starts at 8 a.m., so you can also customize this as well. 
And last but not the least is the, the uh, connections. So if you look at the connections, this is just you integrating your calendars, um, your other calendars outside of um, Go High Level here. So click Add New so you can connect your Google Calendar, Outlook, um, iCloud, Calendly, etc. You can also connect your uh, video conferencing platforms, Google Organic Booking, and local services ads. All right, so now let's talk about the calendar settings. So you have calendars, group service menu, rooms, and equipment. So under the calendars tab, these are all the calendars that you have available for your uh, sub account or your snapshot. So basically a calendar just looks like this. So it's very straightforward. Just uh, choose a date and a schedule where you wanna, uh, when you wanna book, enter your information, uh, schedule the meeting, and you're good to go. All right, so next would be your groups. So basically, these groups are your groups of calendars. So just choose the calendar that you want to sort. So click the menu uh, button here and move to the group, and it will be loaded to the group that you prefer. So far, I have three here for this sub account, and this is how it looks like. So here are all the calendars that are uh, uh, included in this group. So just let's say uh, click the service and uh, choose the staff and you will see the booking calendar. So it's just gonna be the same, choose the date, uh, choose the schedule and add your information and then schedule the meeting. Next up is the service menu or the service calendar. So here compared to the groups earlier, you will show all the existing groups that you have. And within those groups are all the services that you offer. So let's say basic nail services and then premium nail enhancements. Uh, they're all here. So just click the uh, service. Let's say this one. Um, let's say it's just for a single uh, client. Click continue. Then you also have the option to select the staff, click confirm, and then you will show or you will see the calendar as well. So same thing, choose the uh, time and schedule, enter your information and schedule the appointment. Now let's talk about the rooms and equipment. So as for the rooms, these are where you assign certain services to, let's say, um, deluxe manicure so uh, a certain client would need to go to this certain room uh, for this service to be availed but let's say if your business is let's say plumbing you don't exactly need to create a room or assign a room to a certain service but if you want to create a room just click create room add the name add the description add the capacity of the room and then just assign a service to a certain room same thing with the equipment. Let's say it's um, uh, the nail UV curing machine. So it's also assigned to certain uh, services. So it's practically the same. Add the name, add the description, total quantity of the equipment or uh, uh, machines that you have. Set the out of service quantity if there are equipment that uh, are not working and then select the service. All right, so now let's create a calendar. So let's say, uh, let's create a calendar that's uh, appropriate for our business, which is a uh, nail spa service. So let's click service booking and then just uh, include the service name, select the member, and then just enter a, a custom URL. So normally I would just uh, copy this and edit along the way. Set the duration for the service, set the uh, booking availability. And as you can see, these times here are the same with how we set our preferences. And then you can also choose advanced settings. So here in the advanced settings, you can upload your service logo. Let's say this logo, add a description and assign this certain uh, service calendar or calendar to a group. So say premium nail enhancements, and you have the option to customize the appointment invite title. This will re be reflected in the email. 
copy this and click save. Then you can also edit the availability like uh, what we've seen earlier. We already have set this up, so no need to uh, reconfigure. Uh, you can uh, set the service interval, the duration, uh, minimum scheduling notice, let's say uh, at least two days before the appointment. Um, you can also have a date range, let's say two days as well. Uh, post buffering time, maybe let's add 15 minutes and then click save. And then for forms and appointment, let's say you already have uh, set up your Stripe account. So you can uh, click this to accept payments. You can uh, pre-populate fields. It, uh, it really depends. You can configure the thank you message. If you have a Facebook Pixel ID, you can uh, add a Pixel ID. Click Save. Next, for notifications and additional options. So again, these are your triggers. Um, you can definitely enable and disable these uh, triggers and um, uh, automations for email and, and in-app. Um, you can also click Allow Google and Outlook Calendar. Uh, if you have assign Google or Outlook calendar to send invitation or uh, update emails to attendees, assign contacts to their res uh, respective staff members, allow or schedule appointment. Um, you can add the minutes uh, before the reschedule expires, allow canceling the appointment and custom um, additional notes. Click save. And as for customizations, you can also uh, choose the cover image. Uh, customize primary color, customize background, customize button text, maybe let's say book service. Okay, you can also toggle calendar title, calendar description, and calendar details. If uh, you have a custom code, you can paste it here as well. And you can also um, give the option to choose a staff selection during booking. Um, you can disable this or enable this. It's really up to you. Click save. And like what we mentioned earlier, rooms and equipment. So it really depends if your certain service will be needing a certain room or a certain equipment. So let's say uh, this certain service needs a nail UV curing machine, but it doesn't really need the room. So let's uncheck that and check nail UV curing machine and then click save. All right. So now that we're done. So this is the uh, new calendar that we created and it was assigned to this group. So if you click groups, now we have four. This was previously three. So let's check and there we go. So we now have four services. Now, if we check the service menu, it's not going to be there. So you have to manually add this service calendar to the service menu. All right, so for us to do that, let's go back to the service menu and click this and click edit so you will see all the uh, detail service menu name description uh, service url um, the form consent checkbox default uh, thank you message or you can also redirect to url if you want uh, to have a custom thank you page or url and you can also uh, enable Enable add guests, multiple service selection, uh, enable service staff selection, and custom code. So click select service. And as you can see, there are uh, certain groups here that you can assign to the service calendar. So far, this is all uh, the nail services. So we, we just chose basic and premium nail services. So we assigned the new calendar that we created to this group, Premium Nail Enhancements. And as you can see, it's not yet checked. So let's check it so we can include it to your um, service uh, calendar and click Save. All right, so again, you can also arrange your services. Um, it, it, let's say you wanna uh, show the Premium Nail Enhancements first uh, or the Basic Nail Services first. So it it's really up to you. So click Save. Let's check our service menu. All right, so as you can see, so we already have four. So we added this new uh, service calendar to this service menu. Now that we know how to create a calendar, now let's learn how to create a group. So just click Create Group, enter the group name, and let's include the description. All right, and now we have a new group, as simple as that. All right, so now let's create a service menu. So click Create. 
and then type in the service menu name. And then like what I mentioned earlier, so you can uh, choose which form you would like to uh, use for the booking and consent checkbox, uh, confirmation page. If you wanna use a default thank you message or redirect to URL, if you have a custom page and additional options for enabling adding guests, enabling multiple service selections and staff selections. So let's go to select services and let's take a look at the group that we created. So specialty services. So if you check this, everything else here will be checked. Range of services. So far, we only chose one group. So it's only going to show one group here. However, if you say select all, everything will be shown here and you can have the option to rearrange your services. But for now, just for us to show this in this tutorial, let's just choose specialty services, click save. And now we have our third service menu. So let's check. And this is how it would look like. Now that we're done with all our calendar settings, let's take a look at how our actual calendar looks like in the sub account. So let's go back and from your landing page or from your dashboard, let's go to calendars. So as you can see, this is currently empty. So um, I've entered all the dummy bookings in February. So let's go to February and uh, we'll just uh, filter and search for all the services that we have booked. So now you can see all the services booked for uh, your calendar. You can uh, filter and change the view. You can choose the day, um, week or month. It's uh, really up to you. So as you can see, these are all color coded. You can definitely customize that um, in this in the calendar settings. All right. So last but not the least, you can manually book an appointment or book a schedule here on the calendar page. So let's say if you're taking a phone call and you're talking to a client, you can uh, schedule an appointment or book uh, a service manually. Uh, you can choose the staff or it depends uh, if you don't want to choose a staff. Let's say here, select the time zone, uh, contact, or if you're talking to a new uh, client, just click add contact and you can definitely do so. You have the option to choose the date and you have the option to either click uh, confirm or unconfirmed. Let's say it's a tentative booking, so you can choose uh, unconfirmed, but let's choose confirm for now and click book appointment. So it's going to appear here if you click the filter. So yeah, it's going to appear where you scheduled it. And uh, let's go to appointments. And here you will see all the clients or all the um, uh, customers that booked uh, services for your business. So you can either filter them um, using upcoming, canceled, and all. So you can definitely manage all your bookings here. And that is it for this tutorial. We just learned how to create and manage our calendar in Go High Level. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. And don't forget, if you're ready to try out Go High Level, use our affiliate link in the description to unlock an extended 30-day trial, over $2,000 worth of bonuses, and a free landing page template. See you in the next videos.